All right. So go ahead and come to a comfortable seat and close your eyes. Rest your hands on your thighs and choose if you feel like you want more grounding energy right now, palms can be down. Or if you want a little bit more open, receptive energy, palms up. Take a deep breath in through your nose, filling up. Out your mouth, let it go. A deep breath in to your ribs, sides of the ribs expand, hold your breath in. Big exhale out your mouth, let it go. Again like that, deep breath in. This time really hold your breath in as long as you can, but keep your face soft. Keep your shoulders relaxed. Feel the expansion in your lungs. Maybe sip a little bit more air in. And then big exhale, let it all go. And breathe in and out slowly through your nose at a pace that serves you. And allow the sensation and maybe even the sound of your breath to calm your nervous system, to bring you into the here and now. So it's interesting, I feel like for myself, and maybe many of you are feeling this as well, there's a lot of space to be had, a lot of extra time in our schedules. And yet, I find myself always wanting to fill that time. And so this practice is an opportunity to fill your time with awareness, with the awareness behind the doing, the constant need to, you know, figure something out or fill perhaps the boredom that you might feel sometimes. And I've been thinking a lot about boredom because it's a feeling that I, I don't feel very often and I often resist it. Like, oh, if I'm bored, then I'm not doing anything, I'm not productive. And one of my greatest teachers often said that boredom is just really an opportunity for peace. So even in this moment right here, you might be feeling or wondering, you know, when we're gonna move, when we're gonna sweat, but maybe you could just be with your breath. Just an idea. Feeling the silky smooth sensation as you breathe in and out through your nose. Feel the length in your spine and feel yourself arriving, showing up into this practice. Showing up with a sense of awareness and curiosity. Two more nice, slow, even rounds of breath.
As you're ready, gently blink your eyes open and come onto your hands and your knees. No rush. Once you're on your hands and your knees, walk your hands forward away from your knees. Keep your hips just over the knees and let your heart melt down for half dog, Anahastasana. I like to be high on the fingertips sometimes, especially when I'm moving into an active practice. So this helps fire up the muscles in the arms. Draw the shoulders down the back a little and then pull your belly in for just a tad of support. And from that active shape, let the heart melt a little more, okay? And breathe into that, three more breaths. And then walk yourself up to a downward facing dog. Tuck your toes, gently press your hips back. So I'm gonna encourage you to take your feet a little wider apart, almost all the way to the edges of the mat. And then one knee generously and just let that knee bend and shift the hips over towards that knee. And then shift sides, bending the opposite knee and letting the hip shift. You go side to side a few times, nodding your head, letting go of any tension in your neck or your face, your jaw. And bring your feet back about hip distance, slide into plank pose. And pause there for a few breaths. Just know that you can um, Lower your knees if you need a little support, always. Pull your belly in, press the floor away, take an inhale. And as you exhale, press back to down dog. As you inhale, come back to plank pose, maybe rounding the spine. And as you exhale, press back to down dog. We'll do about eight more of those, inhaling as you come forward, pull the belly in, exhale, press it back. If you prefer cat-cow instead of this movement, then you can do that as well, just on your hands and knees, okay? So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to feel your breath and your movement start to link together. So the entire length of your inhale is, drink, is bringing your body forward into plank and the entire length of your exhale is bringing your body back into down dog. And you've got a lot of resistance as you press down through your palms. Good. Couple more. And whenever you're ready, you're gonna walk or lightly hop up to the hands. Take a halfway lift on the inhale. And as you exhale, fold back in. As you inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Prayer to the heart as you exhale. Pause here, close your eyes. Feel tall and strong as you press through your feet and maybe set a word or an intention for your practice here. What do you need? Next inhale, reach your arms out and up. Next exhale, dive forward and fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step back, plank pose, pause there. Good, bring your big toes together. Roll to the outer edge of your left foot side, plank right arm up. You can lower your left knee down if you want. We'll just take five breaths here. So we're getting right into the body. We're getting right into the feels, this challenge, the strength, okay? This is how we start to become alive, right? <laughs> In our asana practice. As you're ready, you're gonna come through plank, go over to the other side, no big deal. Just go into the other side. Pushing into the right palm, pushing into the outer edge of your right foot. 
Maybe close your eyes again and just experience, become aware of every breath, every sensation. Come back to plank pose. Option to lower the knees here, shift forward on the inhale. Exhale all the way to the belly slowly. Wide cobra, hands on the space just outside of your mat, high to the fingers, elbows up, lift your chest. Lower back down. And just move here about five, six times. Up and down, following your breath. You might want to come up and dip a shoulder and dip the other shoulder. Move the head around. Let it kind of just feel weird for you, for your body. What do you need? And then bring your hands back by your ribs. Squeeze your elbows in, tuck your toes, press to plank pose, inhale, maybe on your knees. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, walk or lightly hop forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold back in. Inhale, rise up, reach your arms. Exhale, prayer to heart and connect. Pause here. Feel your word. Feel that thing that you need. Feel your breath. Good. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Step back to plank pose and pause. Good. Let's roll to the outer edge of the left foot again, side plank. And you might modify here by lowering the left knee. Some of you might fire it up by lifting the right leg. Fire up the right glute, outer edge of the thigh. Let it work. Maybe sweep the right arm over. Two more breaths. Okay, come through plank. Gently go to the other side, outer edge of the right foot. Maybe hover the left leg and maybe sweep your left arm over the ear. Try to smooth out your breath here. In and out through your nose. Come back to plank. Shift forward on your inhale. Lower down as you exhale. Good. Let's take Shalabhasana. Reach your arms back. Hands interlace at the low back. Inhale, lift the heart. Hold here for a few breaths. Maybe lift your legs up. Breathe into the heart. Try not to jut the head and neck back. Try to either let it be neutral or maybe even a little movement in the neck might feel good. Two more breaths. Fire up the back body. Good, lower yourself down. Bring your hands by your ribs. Tuck your toes. Firm your belly, inhale, press to plank. Exhale, press to down dog. Take a deep breath and look forward. Exhale, walk or float, feet to hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold back in. Inhale, rise up, reach your arms. Prayer to the heart, pause. Maybe feel your heart beating here. Smooth out your breath. Restate your word, your intention. I love this pose. Samasitihi. We just pause, we feel our balance, we connect. From here, come to chair pose. Take your arms right alongside your ears. Good. Now you're going to sweep your arms behind you, sink a little bit lower in the legs. And on your inhale, rise up, reach long, and maybe come to the balls of your feet. And as you exhale, sit back into your chair and sweep your arms back. And as you inhale, come back up, reach, maybe come to the balls of your feet. We're going to do this a few times. So as you exhale, sweep back, maybe releasing through your mouth. And then inhale, rise up. Your feet could be hip distance apart. Exhale, sweep back. Inhale, come up. Let's say four or five more, okay? So you can modify this, you don't have to go too deep. You don't have to lift your heels, but you can. 
And we're moving energy. This is a really nice thing to do anytime in your day that you just want to build some heat, move some energy, feel your breath. Last one, we'll pause and share, <laughs> and then interlace your hands at your low back in a chair pose, okay? And then from here, hinge at your hips, straighten out your legs any amount into a fold with your hands interlaced. Again, maybe have your feet more hip distance. And then bend the left knee generously as you dip the left shoulder down. Switch sides, bend the right knee and dip the right shoulder down. Go side to side a few times. Good, and then release your hands, take a halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Side plank, outer edge of the left foot, lift the right arm up. Good, maybe hover the right leg, maybe reach the right arm over. This is a fun option for those of you wanting a challenge. Fun is relative, right? <laughs> Bring your right knee in towards your belly and your right elbow towards your knee. Squeeze. Send it back out. Two more times. Squeeze. Smiling helps. Out. One more. Bring it in. Send it out. Beautiful. Come back to plank. Go to the other side. Yes, good. And again, maybe lifting the left leg, maybe reaching the left arm and bringing left knee and elbow towards each other. Good. Stay with your breath. Stay strong in your right palm. You got it. One more. Okay, come to plank. By the way, I'm not making you do any of this. It's all your choice, okay? It's all your choice. Take a deep breath in, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga or all the way to the floor. You choose, okay? Cobra or up dog, hold it for a few breaths. So if you're an up dog, lift your knees, push into the tops of the feet, draw the shoulders back. Strongly press back to down dog. Use your belly, use your arms. Take a few breaths here, maybe a child's pose if you need it. Maybe sighing out your mouth. Okay, let's take the right leg back into the air. Bend the knee, open up the hip. Good, so it's like side plank, kind of. Flip your dog, go to the outer edge of your left foot, take that right foot back, lift the right arm up. Just a couple breaths here. Open the heart. Right hand down to the floor, right knee to your chest. Step it through, warrior one, back heel grounds down, reach straight up. Good, pause there, root through both feet and lift through your heart. I want you to feel the distance from your right thigh bone to your sternum, to your breastbone. So there's a lift, a pull up into the heart, okay? Push down into the outer edge of the left foot, keep reaching up through the arms. Yeah. All right, then take your hands back, find the interlace. Inhale, lift across your heart. Exhale to a humble warrior. So maybe you're halfway, maybe you're all the way to the inside of the knee, let your head drop. Really nice release for the neck here, let your face soften. Two more breaths. Good, and then release your hands to the floor, pause. Line up your right heel with your left inner arch, so you might adjust your feet a little bit. And then you're gonna take your right hand to the inside of your right foot, or hold on to your shin or calf as you sweep your left arm to the sky for a version of extended angle. Yeah. You could use a block if you have one, but you don't have to. That right shin is a great prop. <laughs> So you don't have to be too low, okay? In fact, I prefer you're not too low so that you are broad across your chest, right? So if we go too low, sometimes we dump down. 
get broad across your chest. And then if you want to sweep your left arm over the ear, go ahead and do that. Couple more breaths here. And come up to warrior two. And find a reverse warrior, lifting the right side of your ribs up and away from your right thigh. Breathe here. Maybe root a little more into your right foot. Maybe melt your right thigh down one more inch. Good, and then straighten out your right leg as you inhale. Exhale, triangle pose, right hand to your shin. Left arm up. So again, important to be broad across your heart here. I'd rather you lift away from the pose, maybe slide your right hand up a little bit on your shin, okay? Hmm, and breathe, always. If you want a little juice, a little more core stuff, sweep your left arm over, take your right arm forward, hold an imaginary ball between your hands, three breaths. Please come back to warrior two. For your inhale, reverse your warrior. For your exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor. Step to plank and pause. So here's another fun option. Again, fun is relative. <laughs> you can lower your knees. You can hover your right leg, or you can cross your right leg over your left leg, okay? So you're squeezing your inner thighs together. Lots of strength. Inhale, shift forward, keep it for chaturanga, exhale. And then release your feet for cobra or up dog. Oh, and then press it back to down dog. So remember earlier when I gave you the option of if you wanted it strong, remember? <laughs> okay, we're doing good, hopefully, breathing. Take your left leg up. Bend the knee. Open the hip and option to flip your dog. Go to the outer edge of the right foot. Push down into the right foot, lift the hips, lift the heart. Slowly come back to plank and let your left knee come into the chest. Step it through, warrior one first, straight up with your arms, back heel down to the floor. Breathe here. So I really love how when the arms are lifted, the capacity for the lungs, for the breath, really grows and you can feel the breath expanding in all directions, front and back, side to side, like you have this big balloon inside your rib cage. Soften your face, steady your gaze. As you're ready, please reach back, interlace hands, maybe switching up the grip, inhale into your heart, Exhale, humble warrior. Maybe let something go here. The head and the brain close to the earth, releasing thoughts, releasing unnecessary patterns, unnecessary worries. Release your hands to the floor. Take a little bit of weight off that left foot for a moment as you shift it and the left heel will line up with your right inner arch. And then the left hand comes inside your left foot as the right arm comes up for a version of extended angle. So maybe you're coming up to that left shin again. Drawing your left hip back. Good, breathe. Maybe sweep the right arm over the ear. Beautiful. For those of you I can see, I love it. I love that you have your screens on. It's really helpful for me. You look amazing. Nice. Just keep listening to your body, refining the shape for your body. Come up, warrior two. Reverse the warrior, left arm reaches up and away from your left thigh. 
Ground into the left foot, maybe melt your left thigh just another inch lower. Feel the expansion here just in that left side rib cage. Breathing into that. Next inhale, straighten left leg. Next exhale, triangle, trikonasana. Open and expand across your chest. Good, and then actively engage your legs. Keep finding more strength, more stability, and maybe that beautiful place where you can just drop into the shape and be with it. You might sweep your right arm over the ear. You might sweep your left arm forward, strengthening your abdominals. Try not to lock out your left knee. Little micro bend is good. Good, and then come out, please. Warrior two. Reverse for the inhale, reach up and away. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Plank pose. More fun, maybe hover the left leg. Since Disneyland's closed, we're gonna have fun here. Cross it over. Reach the chest forward as you inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or to the floor. Release the feet, cobra or up dog. Exhale down, we're facing dog. And pause. I'm loving that word pause lately. I just feel like this whole thing is one big pause. A beautiful opportunity to just step back from the life that we had, from the emotions we were going through, pausing and checking in. Maybe child's pose is your pause here. A few more breaths. Nice, and then as you're ready, please walk or lightly hop up to your hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold back in, exhale. Rise up, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, prayer to the heart. All right, let's just put the weight in the right foot and let your left leg come up for a half staff, so it's about halfway up, working on your balance. Steady gaze here. Nice. And then this might be enough, just working on your balance. If you want to play with a little twist, you could take your right hand to the outside of the left knee, take your left hand to your left hip and start to twist towards the left. Those of you who have the deeper option in your practice, maybe grabbing your left foot, you could use a strap if you have it. Extending the foot out and twisting with the extended leg, maybe even taking the left arm out, okay? So feel it out. It's not your deepest twist. It's not your deepest pose. It's just, it is what it is today for your body, okay? Pull your belly in for support. If you fall, awesome. You're practicing yoga. Come back in and keep practicing, okay? Keep practicing. Notice where the mind goes. Notice where the emotions go. Try to stay with your breath. Okay, and then come back to center, take your arms up. Another fun thing, maybe straighten out your left leg, hold for five breaths. I know, we've been on this right leg for a while and we're gonna be there for a little while, so just get to know the sensations in your right leg. Good, now you're going to warrior three, swing the left leg back, teeter totter the body, hands can always come to the hips, or you can bend your right knee and take your hands to the floor even, totally fine. Four or five more breaths, nice and smooth. Beautiful, big step back into warrior one. Been here before, reach up. Good, sweep the arms out and interlace your hands behind you again. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, humble warrior. So if you're feeling the urge to really flow here, this is a nice option. Keep the hands interlaced and then inhale to come back up. Exhale to go back in. And it's like a wave, inhaling, come up. 
Exhale and go back in. Strong abdominals. And just kind of tasting your edges here. Two more. Flowing with breath. Good, and then release your hands down to the floor. Wiggle your right foot a little so that you can come into extended angle. Heel to arch alignment. Right hand to inner foot or shin, left arm up. And then maybe sweep the left arm over the ear. Good, and then we're gonna go all the way to reverse warrior. Big inhale. All the way back to extended angle, exhale. Couple more like that. Inhale, root through your feet, reach. Exhale, extended angle. Last one. Good, come all the way to reverse warrior and pause there. Straighten out your right leg. And we come to triangle. So two options, you can stay in triangle or you can hop up into half moon pose. Another balance for that right leg. In case we haven't already exhausted the muscles in that right leg, breathe. If it's shaking or throbbing a bit, take that as a sign that you are strengthening. You are pushing your muscles, it's good. Just make sure you can breathe. Because if you lose the breath, you really lose the yoga. This isn't meant to be just your typical workout. This is yoga still, okay? One more breath. Good, big step back. Warrior two. Reverse, inhale. Carve all the hands down to the floor, pause in your plank. Option to sweep that right leg over the left leg and take your vinyasa as you're ready. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Ah, maybe take a big sigh out your mouth, let it be audible, no one can hear you, big release. Ah. You might want to shake out your right leg a little, that could feel good, circle it around, circle the hip, lubricate the joint. Good, as you're ready, please walk or lightly hop up to your hands. Halfway lift, big inhale. Exhale, fold back in. Rise up, reach your arms. Prayer to the heart. Pause and connect, find your word. Maybe ask yourself the question again. Why am I here? What do I need? Self-inquiry. One more complete cycle of breath. Find a steady gaze out in front of you as you bring your weight into your left foot. Slowly lift the right leg up, halfway. This is a good start. Many of you will stay here, taking the, out, the left hand to the outside of your right leg, right hand to hip and twist to the right. Or grabbing the outer edge of your foot, extending it out, maybe the right arm out. Breathe. Maybe feel a little bit more rooted in your left foot. Again, lots of permission to fall. If you do, it's all good. Come back in. As you're ready, please take your body forward and reach your arms up. And you can keep your right knee bent or straighten it out for five breaths. So this is really firing up the quad. You can probably feel it in there. Flexing the foot can be helpful. Pull the belly in, get a little taller. And slowly swing your foot back. 
Again, the playgrounds are closed, so here we are on a teeter-totter. <laughs> you know, maybe you want to do that a few times, teeter-totter. Breathe. You always can take your hands to the floor, bend the left knee. Two more breaths. Big step back, warrior one, straight up with the arms. Good, interlace your hands behind you. Inhale as you lift the heart. Exhale as you come forward. And maybe you're taking that dynamic movement in and out. Strongly supporting yourself here with your belly. Navel to spine, through your feet, strong legs. Couple more. The next time you come forward, pause, let your hands release to the floor. Wiggle your left foot in a little and come into extended angle version, sweeping the right arm up, maybe over the ear. Good, and together, let's inhale all the way to reverse warrior. Up and away from the left thigh, exhale, back, extended angle. So I call this dancing warrior. It's a really nice way to just feel a lot of fluidity. We're being asked to, more than ever, go with the flow. <laughs> That's always my answer to everything right now. If it's in the flow. I have no particular agenda other than showing up for you guys twice a week. <laughs> All right. As you're ready, you're gonna pause in reverse warrior. Straighten out the left leg, come all the way to triangle. But even this is showing up for you twice a week. It's not always in the flow. It wasn't on Monday and I apologize for that. So give yourself lots of permission. Optional Ardha Chandrasana. Right, breathing. There's so many things in our mind that we could like just be freaking out about, and some of you probably are, but another option is to step back from that perspective. Focus on acceptance, gratitude. As you're ready, please come back, warrior two. Reverse for the inhale. Hands cartwheel down on the exhale, step to plank, maybe cross that left leg over. Your vinyasa as you're ready. Once again, just take a nice pause and down dog or child's pose. Oh, I see a little baby in someone's screen. I love that. <laughs> Oh yeah, I got my kids home too, I feel ya. Okay, we are going to lower the knees, lower the elbows, just under the shoulders. First, just a few cat-cows on the forearms. Inhale your heart forward, exhale round your body back. Do that a few times. This is a really nice massage in the thoracic upper half of your back. And those of you that know me know that we are going to forearm plank and we are, so go ahead and tuck your toes back and gaze between your thumbs. Your hands might be interlaced. Pull your belly in. Breathe. You can always lower your knees. Just five more breaths, please. Just five. Stay strong. Stay connected. Good.
Okay, and then lower your knees and come back to the elbows and the knees so you're in that forearm cat-cow shape, okay? So I'm just gonna give you the option if you wanna play with the forearm balance, feel free, go ahead, come on in. If you have a wall nearby, that's a good tool. Headstand is nice and accessible right here as well. You could interlace your palms, place the crown of the head on the floor, lift your hips, walk your feet in. And honestly, if you're looking at me, this is a great start to headstand. So I don't want you to just like come into headstand if you don't have it in your practice. Um, another option is come to your belly and just lie on your belly and do nothing right now. <laughs> We're gonna just give lots of options. Um, and then the fourth option is maybe just like a dolphin pose. So you're on your elbows, your head is hanging and kind of similar to that headstand modification. You're just letting your head hang, bending your knees, okay? So let's take about 10 more breaths wherever you are. Feeling a nice rush of oxygen and blood flowing into the brain. Again, purifying, draining away unnecessary thoughts. Cleansing, clearing out like a waterfall, flushing, pouring down from your tailbone, down through the crown of your head. When you're ready, please come onto your belly, rest. It might feel good to turn a cheek to the mat, or it might feel good to just stop your forearms, crocodile pose, let your forehead rest on your forearms. Another nice opportunity to really feel the expansion of your breath here. So as you inhale, feel your ribs press down into the mat. And let's do a couple back bends here while we're nice and warm. So you could return to Shalabhasana like we did earlier, interlace hands, straight legs, lift up, or bend your knees, grab ankles or tops of feet, Dhanurasana, lift up. Maybe Sphinx pose even as a third option, elbows under the shoulders. Open up your heart. The world really needs us to open up our hearts right now. Connecting to compassion. Love. Couple more breaths. Gently lower down. Maybe turning the other cheek to the mat. If and when you're ready for a second back bend, please take one. It could be what you just did, or if you want to maybe take Ustrasana Camel, you could press back, come onto your knees. You could flip over onto your back, taking uh, Urdhva Dhanurasana, full wheel. So just another way of opening your heart here. About 10 breaths. Maybe focus on your inhales. As we open the heart, we receive. As you inhale, you receive. So bring in your word, what you need. Maybe it's a little more compassion, a little more love. Like I mentioned, a couple more breaths. And then lower down. If it's on your back, pause there. If it's on your belly. Or maybe it's even sitting on your heels if you did a camel. Close your eyes. Okay. 
And from here, let's all come onto the back. So if you're on your belly, you can just do a little flip over onto your back. We're gonna finish with uh, some nice long stretches as promised. So hug your right knee into the chest. And then move your right hip around in the hip socket. And this might feel good and you can just hold your knee or you could grab the outside of your right foot for a half happy baby and just find a little more space in your groins. Maybe the front of your left hip feels a pull. Wherever you feel it, breathe into it. Good. And then put your left foot on the floor and cross your right ankle over your left thigh for thread the needle and lift your left leg up. This could be just active. Don't hold your left leg nice and active. Just push your left knee into your right leg. For me, that gets a lot more juice in the stretch, making it active. But you can also hold the leg. Or if you're wanting like a really deep hip opener and you've got pretty open hips already, you could try to take a reclined pigeon pose, wrapping your right shin like a baby. Okay. Take about three more breaths. Nice, and then from here, you're just gonna wrap that right leg all the way over your left leg. And you might even scoot your hips over to the right an inch as you lower the legs to the left for a twist. So you don't have to cross your legs. You could just stack your knees on top of each other. Arms go out to the side. Gaze can turn over to the right. Take a couple more breaths here. And as you're ready, come back to center. Hug both knees into your chest. Good. Release your right leg along on the floor and hug your left knee in. You can hold here, massaging the hip joint, or you can grab the outside of your left foot. Half happy baby. I encourage you here and now to close your eyes if you haven't already. And to just keep drawing your awareness deep inside your body. feeling each breath. Your mind will want to wander off and that's normal, but maybe choose the practice of being in conscious awareness of everything that is true for you right now. Place your right foot on the floor and cross your left ankle over the right thigh, thread the needle, right leg lifts up. You can keep it active without the arms or you could thread the needle and take your left hand into that opening and interlace your hands on your right leg.
Please take a couple more breaths. Go ahead and cross that left leg all the way over your right leg so you crisscrossed. Maybe scoot the hips to the left a couple inches and lower them over to the right for your twist. Left arm splays out to the left. You could turn the head to the left. Keep witnessing every breath, every thought. Good, two more, nice slow breaths. And then come back to center. Hug your knees into the chest again, even out your hips. Place your feet on the floor and bring the outsides of your feet to touch and let your knees open up into butterfly wings, Supta Baddha Konasana. That's it. And then you might wiggle your shoulders away from your ears, gently let your head move side to side and make sure everything in your upper body is nice and settled. If you feel any tenderness in your low back, you might just inch your hips towards your heels slightly. And then you might want to place a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly here. Breathe into your palms. Breathe into this space that you have created for yourself. Breathe into the knowing that by creating space for yourself here and now, you are adding more light to the world. You can take the benefits of this practice with you into every moment from now forward. Maybe there's even someone in your mind right now that could really use the benefits of this practice. Send love and light to them. And then once more, send love and light to yourself. And as you're ready, please guide your knees together and splay them out onto the floor, legs long. Shavasana. Make yourself comfortable, again, maybe just wiggling the shoulders a little, splaying the arms completely out, palms up. Heaviness in your hips, heaviness in your legs. Let everything go. Good. 
Witness your natural effortless breath as it glides in and out. Feel the heaviness in your body sinking into the earth. If you have the time in your day to rest longer or maybe move into a meditation practice, please do. And if you're ready to complete your practice today, go ahead and wiggle your fingers and toes. Take a deeper breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Bend your knees and either Roll to one side and press up or gently rock yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to a prayer at your heart. Bow your chin down towards your palms once more, making a connection here to yourself. Perhaps to your intention, your word. Also feeling a gesture of gratitude here for this time that you set aside for yourself, for the gift of this practice, for the gift of this technology that brings us all together right now at this time. And I wanna leave you with a quote. It's one of my favorite quotes, it's very short. It's by an unknown author. Peace. It does not mean to be in a place where there is no noise or trouble or hard work. It means to be in the midst of these things and still be calm in your heart. Take a deep breath in, sigh it out your mouth. Namaste. Thank you.